go. Nice hard fighting uh, air food lake common. Not as big as the other one. I will weigh it. Because uh, I've got everything all out here underway. So I might as well just get on with it and do it really. A few spots of rain coming down. But it's all good really. Hopefully that's uh, beautiful. Eh? Beautiful. Ooh, wow. Good morning everybody. It wasn't a bad night was it? Or sort of, you know. Bad late afternoon, early evening. Didn't have any more fish in the night. Um, it's, it's all quite quiet, really. Um, hot, so I struggled to sleep. Just a bit of a pain. That never helps. That doesn't really, really doesn't help. It's, 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 it's as well as we are, middle of October. And it's uh, <laughs> boiling hot. At night, like 12, 13 degrees. It's nice when it's a bit cooler. You don't, didn't hear me say that. If so, you can remind me um, back in the winter when I'm saying, well, it was a cold night. Um, yeah, so, no, that's, that's a good start. Uh, you know, a, a, a 23 and a um, 16 pound is quite a good, st good start, really. So I'm quite happy about that. Um, yeah, no, that's, that's good, really. I'm up a bit late this morning. I'm, I'm videoing a little bit late as well. Because um, I was up a bit late. Spoke to the wife on the way at work, as I do always. Um, and then topped up the swim with about six medium bombs over each. And fresh baits on there. And all, and all set up for the day. Because so after last week's sort of um, daytime activity, I'm a, a little bit uh, keener on the uh, let's get things sorted out for the day, especially if you can get up sort of early enough and uh, sort things out for the day. Um, it seems sort of quite logical really. Um, Ian's going to be down in sort of 10, 11, 12 o'clock, something like that, I'm not really sure. He'll probably set up his bivvy first and get everything organised and then spawn out. Um, so yeah, that should uh, fit in with the sort of baiting times because I'm going to, if I haven't caught anything by then, I will probably top up to swim the similar amount of spawns again myself so it's all set for the sort of like night and evening um and then sort of pr proceed from there but yeah it was like rain through the night didn't expect that on the forecast at all i didn't actually check the forecast for the day I, I checked the forecast yesterday and then what came along was different so it must have had an update before i realized i just didn't check on the radar i didn't didn't spot it i think it might have been on my uh one of the other apps I looked at, and I just thought, oh, man, they, they stand, you know, they're, they're sort of quite wrong sometimes about the uh, um, the rain and stuff and the wind. So um, I just quite like it for the um, for the pressure, which I suppose they could be wrong about the pressure, really. Too much pressure. Um, yeah, mm. I think I might just concentrate back on the Met Office, really, and just analyse bits and bobs about it, really. But yeah, no, I've got me, uh, I've got the kettle on for the first brew of the day. Um, it's, 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 I'm just sitting here in a oh, t-shirt and a shirt, really. It's incredibly warm. I've opened up the um, side panels of my bivvy um, to try and sort of let, let, let a bit of air in here and cool things down a bit. To be honest with you, um, and also this, this makes it a bit lighter as well. But, um, sort of it's darkest depths of nowhere. This, uh, this swim is just surrounded by trees, and I've got my uh, inner capsule on, so it sort of makes things a little bit uh, um, sort of darker. But I wanted that on because there's well, slugs and all sorts of crap out and around here, you know, mozzies and things. So if they want to uh, trot around uh, in between the two materials, they can, but I don't want them anywhere near me, particularly. <laughs> it's just bleh, horrible. Horrible, bless them. So no, no, we're going to progress through the day. Um, I've heard fish, I've seen fish again this morning. So, you know, when I've seen fish, that means I've actually seen them in front of me. i uh, heard fish is either to the left or right of me. I can, I can never really tell. Um, I've seen some fish over the far side as well. Um, so they're quite well spread out. They seem to be sort of behaving a little bit more um, like they used to, really, which is quite good. And, uh, yeah. I know, it's, it's all good. It's got to lean over and turn my kettle, turn my kettle off. I'm going to go and, uh, I've got a flood in it. 
don't need floods, I've been spilling water probably. But uh, yeah, let's, uh, yeah. Uh, gotta have me, uh, have me daily coffee, haven't you, really? Well, I have to have me daily coffee anyway. Yeah, he has to have his daily coffee as well. But I was like, mm, might not top that up. That's a bit. Actually, no, I think I did top it up. That's good. Well, he gave me his sort of leftovers of, of coffee and stuff, things like that he's not using at the moment. be a bit embarrassing if I uh, didn't, bring, didn't have any coffee with me, wouldn't it? No, so. Uh, well, there we go. Load it up with milk. I want my latte, really, to be perfectly honest with you. Well, in old English. Uh, milky coffee, you know, that's what I like, nice good old milky coffee, don't like it boiling hot, I like the noise as me just make sure it's done up, because the last thing I want to do is uh, <coughs> spread milk all over the um, thingy do I really, over the bivy floor, that'd be horrible, done that before, silly things in the past, but you know, we all, we all have our moments, Make messes and things, don't we? So yeah. Oh, so it's uh, yeah. I've just said I haven't I haven't changed anything. Um, they're both in the same spot, sixteen and a half wraps out, lined up with a couple of uh, tree markers in the distance. Um, one's got a twenty mil classic corn waft on it, and the other one's got a uh, little twelve by fifteen mil uh, catalyst. Sort of dumbbells like Wafter, just to give them a little bit of different um, feels and textures and things to pick up, pick up from really, and take it there. And kind of, oddly, they both ended up exactly the same range. That was, you know, no sort of uh, no planning on my behalf. That was just how it turned out, really. And uh, yeah, I um, just have to get a little bit more action today. I said, I'm not sure what the weather is supposed to do. Original weather forecast was um, this all day. So we'll see. No more rain um, until this evening, I don't think. And tomorrow's horrendous rain seems to be sort of drifting away now. So that's quite good. Uh, I'm going to have me a uh, some coffee now and uh, yeah, catch up with you later on, boys and girls. Hopefully, uh, fish on the bank. Um, well, hopefully I've got some good footage on the uh, on the GoPro of I me mean, sort of playing the fish and going out there and netting and things. So when you head over to YouTube in a few weeks, you'll uh, see it all on there. I do like this swim. It's nice to be back in this swim. I, I can only see one swim. So if you're looking at what I'm looking at, if you look at the sort of across the line of the lake, it's just full of green trees at the bottom. There's a little green strip. Way in the distance. That's the only other swim there is along here. It doesn't get fished a great deal. Not at all. Not at all. There's a lot of just things sort of splashing. The problem is there's a lot of ducks on here flying around at the moment, so you just never know because it's through the trees. I didn't know that was a carp that showed or uh, more ducks landing because I can't sort of see. I just see the disturbance on the surface. But, uh, Nice, isn't it? If I just sort of top talking for a few seconds, just how yeah, peaceful and quiet it is. Nothing but bird songs, quacking ducks, and uh, yeah, Mother Nature. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Alright, I need to have my coffee now. I shall catch up with you later. Huh. That came after the noble, after the baiting up, literally. Only halfway through my coffee, unbelievable. I'm happy with that, it's got a result. I'll get it on the scale at the moment, probably mid double, something like that. To see, really. So, no, that's uh, good, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful.
Not a monster, but a little bar of gold, isn't it, hey? <laughs> bar of gold. Beautiful bar of gold. <laughs> ah, bless him. Righty home. Get that one back then, shall we? A little bar. There's my bar of gold. There's my bar of gold. Trying to make me instantly sink down the bottom of these nets. It's great, which is what I'm supposed to do. I'm trying to convince them to play out sometimes. <sighs> if I... Not leading a horse to water. It's not always happen. Oh, yeah. Right, well, that's been a uh, quite eventful morning. Been pretty good. I wish I'd done this video a little bit earlier than this because uh, the rain has now just decided to arrive. <laughs> Didn't think that. I think that no, actually I do. I do tell you, I tell a lie. I do think there's little showery bits of rain and everything around. So uh, not a lot we can do there. It's uh, it's quite nice. Might induce a few takes. Ian's a arrived um set up to the left of me in the swim there on the first swim and um, we spawned a uh, load of bait out um, i took the same sort of opportunity because of the disturbance to uh spawn uh, sort of top up the swim a little bit haven't got too gone too sort of uh, aggressive um, at the moment i think i still think there might be a few bits and bobs left over from last night and this morning uh, the swim is looking all, all nice and good and pitched up but uh, yeah so happy about that um, yeah, uh, there's a few sort of rainstorms and rainy days and bits and bobs and wind coming over the next couple of days, so I don't think it's going to be as social as uh, you and I were hoping for, but uh, it has to be what it's going to be, realistically. Uh, when I was baiting up way over in the distance, there's a herd of deer wandering around, which clearly shows there's actually no one else uh, about fishing at all whatsoever at the moment. Um, I didn't refresh the baits this time. Um, I'm sort of more or less assuming I'm going to get a uh, um, some sort of bite between now and uh, five o'clock. If I don't, and uh, it's not raining round about then, which I think it's not supposed to be, I'll stick a couple of fresh baits on for the uh, you know evening and uh, see where we go from there. Realistically, really, carp haven't been overly active a little bit now, but. Uh, well, we've obviously got to turn off a little bit, I would think. Less wind now, the wind's from us, from a completely different direction. I think it's going to, it's going to swing back our way. I think it'll make a little bit of difference again. So one would hope we will uh, get a few more fish between us over the next uh, 24 hours. And uh, yeah, should be good really. Oh, the rod's just uh, bounced up and down then. Whether you noticed that or not, I don't know. But the left hand rod just bobbed up and down then. Oh well, right, I'm going to um, stop recording this and uh, put this phone down and uh, yeah, get out and get, get back down and uh, get myself all sorted. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, you do have to sort of like live in your waders in this room. It's a little bit sort of uh, hot and sticky, so it's not what you can do realistically. Uh, it just makes it handier just leaving them on for most of the day. So, uh, we shall see. Right, I'm going to um, probably might loosen that line up a little bit, and uh, yeah, see where we see where we go from there. Realistically, body out. <laughs>